almost all of us know someone in the family or friends most commonly an elderly member with chronic joint pains hey dear viewers welcome to another amazing video of health shots one of the most common causes of joint pains and stiffness in many individual across the globe is arthritis but what is arthritis and why it is such common occurrence to most people today you'll find out everything about this disease stay tuned till the end to understand what is arthritis and what is the difference between psoriatic and rheumatoid arthritis Hit the subscribe button for more amazing videos like this. Now let's get straight into the video. Arthritis is an umbrella term covering various types of same disease with a difference in causes, complications and symptoms. Some types of arthritis are degenerative, which means that physical depletion of cartilage and ultimately bones, while other types are autoimmune diseases such as psoriatic arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. These autoimmune diseases causes damage by attacking healthy part of the body by mistake. organs such as skin eyes and blood vessel throughout the body are most common targets the two types of autoimmune diseases psoriatic arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis are often confused because of some common symptoms both of the diseases are inflammatory and also progressive they mainly cause joint stiffness chronic pain and swelling coupled with persistent fatigue both types of autoimmune arthritis commonly occur in flares and can be treated with medications that suppresses the immune system However, both these diseases are different with slightly different symptoms. It is essential to point out the differences in the prognosis as the medications are different and there are different approach to manage both of the diseases. We will be explaining the differences and similarities between the two diseases, their diagnosis and treatment option. If you were wondering what differences the disease has if it's only joint pain and stiffness, let's find out. Psoriatic arthritis characteristics Did you know that psoriatic arthritis affects around 30% of people who have psoriasis? But you could still have psoriatic arthritis even though if you didn't ever have psoriasis affecting your skin. This disease affects the sexes most commonly adults and elderly. One of the most common symptoms of psoriatic arthritis is the development of red and shiny patches called plaques on the skin build up from the excess skin cells. Anyone having psoriatic arthritis will have inflammation in their both legs. that causes symptoms like stiffness and swelling of the joint and chronic pain while movement other symptoms present in the individual having psoriatic arthritis are back pain that could be severe swollen fingers and toes inflammation of the eyes foot heel or sole pains rheumatoid arthritis characteristics compared to psoriatic arthritis rheumatoid arthritis is one of the most common type of autoimmune arthritis The immune system of the person having rheumatoid arthritis by mistake attacks the lining of joints and tissues which causes pain and discomfort. Rheumatoid arthritis mainly occur in more than one area of the body with symptoms that mirror each other. For instance, individuals with rheumatoid arthritis will have pain, swelling and stiffness in both knees and elbows. If left untreated, the disease could continue attacking one part of the body after another, which often ends in physical disability like walking and performing daily chores. While anyone can have rheumatoid arthritis, women and older adults are the most common victims. The disease can also run in families, but that is not always the case. Rheumatoid begins as a joint pain in smaller joints such as joint in fingers with dry mouth, dry eyes, fatigue and inflammation of the joints, stiffness and pain. Symptoms like loss of appetite and inflammation of heart and lungs can also be seen in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Causes and risk factors of psoriatic arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Even though much research has been conducted on finding out the reason and causes behind these autoimmune form of arthritis, they still don't have any definite answer to why the immune system attacks itself. Some of the causes of these diseases according to researchers might be linked with genetics, hormonal imbalances and other sorts of infections. However, much research still needs to be done to find out the root cause of these diseases. Doctors point out that psoriatic arthritis might be linked to a genetic condition that most of the time runs in families. Having the skin condition known as psoriasis can also somewhat increase the chances of acquiring psoriatic arthritis. Similarly, rheumatoid arthritis has been observed to have a genetic component linked. If you have a close relative who has been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, there are chances you will experience it too. Diagnosis. Suppose you have signs and symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis. Doctors will prescribe tests like autoantibody blood test inflammatory blood markers and imaging tests like x-rays and mri results which will confirm the disease in psoriatic arthritis 
Physical examination of the symptoms with a medical history review is adequate for correct diagnosis. Symptoms that strongly point to psoriatic arthritis are asymmetrical joint movements, skin and nail involvement, and family history of the disease. Treatment options To relieve the symptoms of autoimmune forms of arthritis, doctors advise the patient to lose weight and incorporate exercise or walk in their daily routine. Mild symptoms can be easily treated with non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs. In case of severe symptoms, the treatment options include the use of corticosteroids, disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs, and TNF inhibitors. Sometimes the patient may also be prescribed physical therapy and surgery to repair or replace the damaged joints. Sadly, there is no permanent cure for both of these conditions. But with lifestyle changes and specified pain management options, Using medications, the discomfort can be reduced considerably. Share your thoughts about today's video in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this.